Hi, I am Ovidius and I'm gonna go to a trip around the Iceland in the winter time. So hope you're enjoying my beautiful adventures this coming now. So we're gonna go now to Vatnajökull and we're gonna sleep in here and it's gonna be a beautiful hike in tomorrow morning. Vida. Whoa! A duster. Our Batmobile for a trip. Welcome to Iceland. Yeah, I this is the man. The this is the man. <laughs> we'll be driving a duster. Incredible car. Incredible car. Hi, man. Stoked for a trip? So, I'm ready, but I, you need to put you see, we have not so much space. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up? David is, is joining the trip. Yeah. <laughs> it was two months ago we went to, went to Kirkfell, yeah. And now we're going around Iceland. <laughs> Five days journey without uh, uh, hotels. We're going to sleep in nature, in the tents, in the car. It's going to be a very tough and excited journey. We have a shovel. Yeah, we have a shovel. <laughs> if we have a shovel, that means we are if going somewhere. If somebody is going to die or froze to the death, we can hide the body. Oh, no, 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 no. I think this duster will get some proper, proper adventure. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where the nearest will push his stuff. I think on the roof. <laughs> yeah. I think I will go to the front because. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not so much uh, things. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Only sleeping bag and, and boots. And, and coffee and, and water. Like <laughs> Perfect. That's your car. That's your gypsy car. Gypsy car. Darte up. Darte up to Poros, my name. After five hours of continuous driving, we are now at the uh, edge of the canyon and uh, as you see, we are uh, preparing the camping gear. Should go and help them out. Okay. It's first night in the wilderness and we're camping somewhere in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I have a Jaeger master like always, so cheers guys. <laughs> so tomorrow plan wake up at 8 o'clock and pack, eat breakfast and hike through this beautiful canyon. Now it's nothing to see but you, tomorrow we're gonna see amazing views and amazing edits and everything. It's gonna be incredible trip. I only slept about three hours. I was so excited about this trip. 
I even can sleep. For this pandemic time, it's very rare to meet your friends and do something nice together. So next morning we just wake up with sleeping bag faces, like a homeless. So we started to prepare our gear for this beautiful hike. Best weather condition to go somewhere. So it's morning right now, 8 a.m. and I just woke up. It was a little bit windy tonight, not too cold, like minus two. Nice. Preparing to our hike. Beautiful morning. <laughs> Guys, always watch out when you see water or little waterfalls and ice is gonna be very slippery, always. What is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to ice caves now. video somewhere lost I don't know where he is but who knows <laughs> we're waiting for you around like what 10 minutes Are you going to the ice cave? Yes. Are we going to maybe you want to come inside? No? Are you okay? Okay, have a nice day. Very, very bad road.
So the road is very gnarly for that here, but we will give a try. But we're thinking to leave the car and then walk towards the ice cave. Sad news, that said didn't make it past from, from this road to a point. Sometimes in Iceland you can walk with only a jacket in the middle of the winter. Climate changing. We reach the parking spot for big jeeps, glacier tour. And now we're gonna go ahead to the ice cave. Welcome to the moon. was different than I was last time, two months ago. All ice now collapse and break. It looks quite dangerous now, yeah. So nice, so refreshing, being under the ice, like being in the frozen ocean. Just so incredible. for another camping spot it's in the half it's a very nice place we set it up our tents and now just preparing for a sleep and new adventures for tomorrow just waiting us I, I, yeah and how how you prepare to handle it with big wind tonight yeah this will help a lot and that's a duster just be having the north Side wind. Do you know what kind of wind it's gonna be in, in nine o'clock? It's gonna be 30 About meters per second. It's gonna be like a storm. 30 meters per 30 second. Meters. No, it will go by those 30 meters per second. But here gonna be around 15, 16. So the tents will be like this. <laughs> but yeah. hopefully we will sleep. And I've uh, set up my wind protections. Last night I didn't eat it. But for this, and also I lure my tent to the car wheel. So yeah, cheers, dear. We're drinking beer, Viking. Cheers. It's uh, 6 a.m. almost. Starting getting very windy. I'm gonna go pee and check some things. Yeah, this night was also crazy. For this night, wind storm hit the Iceland. First time I was in the tent, in that kind of wind condition. I didn't sleep good, about two hours only. And next morning, I knew it, we need to take decision, go to the north or come back home. I've hung around 
this place too long It's time for me to be moving on Moving on Yes it is Got no regrets Ain't nothing gonna run It's just me following The line at the start After fighting all day with wind, finally we reached Mivart, geothermal area in Iceland. I didn't expect so much snow in the north. Driving condition was worse. Set our tents was not possible. We go and search secret hot cave. Sadly, was too dangerous to go in. So we jump in in a blue lake nearby road and we start to make party till 4 am drinking relaxing and doing poor tricks time is flying very fast and 4 am 
we go to the car and fall asleep. So we are in the north now, stop to Godafoss, it's a winter wonderland here, after dramatic driving, in toughest condition I ever drive in my life, I, I was very happy with my car because we can pass through deep snow and everything, and I'm making some lunch now. So yeah, John is now coming back, little bird.
it was hardest and luckiest day for VCR. Hardest because weather condition from wars become terrible. Luckiest because we safe reach our home. And for this night, we closed all the roads to the north for a few days. So we was very happy to escape from this snow madness. It was quite challenging trip, but leave me with a lot of memories. Thank you guys for watching my video. See you for next adventures. Bye.